Hi Collective, welcome to the channel, Cosmic Divine Dreamer. Hi everyone, so this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading that I'm doing for all of you. I did a goddess reading last night and I was feeling a lot of twin flame vibes. You see that beautiful Ace of Cups showing off the top. You know, true love is definitely here. A lot of these karmic relationships that were meant to teach us lessons are closing out. So... <laughs> You know, I was like, why have I not done a twin flame meeting, right? So I felt guided to use the same deck that I've been using with this eclipse energy, the, the darker side of, um, of the night, right? And this is really embracing a lot of um, feminine energy. I've been feeling a lot of very strong feminine energy. That's why I felt guided to do a goddess reading. And I got a new goddess of love deck that I'm going to be using here see five of pentacles you know and four of pentacles there's this big feeling of um not having enough you know and recently I, w I was seeing that you know your throat portal you know your throat chakra all of your chakras really affect your your vibrational frequency so if you're holding back a lot of um what you say if you're not like defending yourself, standing up for yourself, expressing um, what you need to express, then you're lowering your frequency and your vibration. And that could be affecting you getting into this goddess energy. Because I feel some of you divine feminines, like you, um, you have like the empress crossing you, right? You're really close to becoming this beautiful empress. And some will even say that you need to have your emperor um, in your life before you become an empress, right? I've heard some readers talk about that. Um, and, you know, it, it's, um, it's an energy that you embody, right? <sighs> but you need to be able to defend yourself, too right um because it's like the emperor is not going to want somebody that doesn't defend themselves you know let you know i don't mean fighting because the empress is you know very sophisticated she will not get get into petty little arguments and things like that she'll simply remove herself right so it's just um but see it's just not allowing it you know like, you either need to make the situation stop or you get up and you walk away type of thing, right? But, you know, when you are being called to um, express, like, what you what you need to, right? You, that you say it. And it could be as simple as, like, maybe you have somebody that will answer for you. And say something like, um, no, she, she doesn't want to do that. And you really do. Then you need to stand up and say, no. I got this. Do you know what I mean? Alright, where is it? The dark one. So, Judgment and Eight of Swords. Alright, so anyway. Let's see what's going on here. So, it's the current energy for Divine Feminine. The Star card. Ooh, actually, I'm feeling this Nine of Cups energy as your current energy. Well, what's crossing you currently is the Star Strength card is your foundation. Beautiful. What's hidden? Wow. What's hidden is Seven of Wands. So this is where I feel you're doing a good job at defending yourself. But advice from Spirit is Eight of Cups. I just feel it's not enough. I feel that you've imposed boundaries. You've put them in place, but they're just, they're not enough. People are still disrespecting you. They're still not listening to you. So it's like, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Six of Wands, victory. You are doing what you're supposed to be doing, right? And you are, you're standing up for yourself. You're creating those boundaries. You know, like I said, I'm feeling as though somebody is, you know, that's why it's like it's crossing you because it's like you're... You're standing up for yourself and, and you're upsetting those boundaries, but people are still disrespecting you. So you ultimately just have to walk away. You know? 
It's too much of a burden. What's the karma? High Priestess. Mm. Heightened spirituality. Spiritual gifts. You could be getting some sort of enlightenment, some sort of download, some sort of realization. They want you to spend some time alone. And this this is coming up in your um, challenge position. So it's a challenge to spend time alone. Some of these energies, like, they know that you're going to level up if you can have time to yourself. That you're going to realize something. So they could be creating a lot of chaos and conflict to try to not let you have peace at this time. Sneaky, right? Wow. Action is seven of cups. Seven, seven. You have to, um, you've got to close out these options. So some, some of you, like, that's the expressing that you have to do. Like, don't leave things open. It's like, leaving things open lets the universe know that it's, it's undecided. Right? Five of swords. See that dagger there? There's battling, there's conflict. You gotta shut some of this down. What about the outcome? Page of Pentacles. You're creating something. Because it's creating blockages for you. You're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. That's what you don't see. So you're very you're very resourceful at this time. You're very ground stable when you're a provider. This you can represent the mother card, right? So there could be children involved here, especially with this page here. That could be a factor. This moon is very strong. It's definitely um, getting you the realizations I feel that you need. Okay, let's get a clarify out on each of this and we'll find out what's going on. What's well, this Nine of Cups for Divine Feminine? The chariot jumped out with the king of cups. Hmm. So you're definitely, you're really focused. I'm noticing the heart chakra activated. She's touching her heart here. <sighs> ah, this is beautiful. This is movement and travel with somebody that has a lot of love for you. There's a new foundation and new beginning. It's just you got to block out some things here. What's the star card? There's, you have a strong king cause right there. What's the star? Nine of Pentacles. They want you in this single independent energy though. Being able to handle yourself. Hmm. It looks like there's going to be a choice of lovers here. Because for some of you, you're dealing with somebody that has a lot of love for you. A lot of love. But maybe they don't respect and honor you. Right? Maybe there's something there. But they're showing me this Nine of Pentacles. So she can stand there. She can take care of herself. I'm getting it's in and out energy. It's back and forth. Like I'm getting there's a lot of love and then there's a lot of disrespect. And then it's like, so you're kind of back and forth. I'm feeling as though somebody's not treating you as the empress that you are, right? That could be why it's like in and out energy of you being the empress as well. Because you could be dealing with somebody that won't put you like above them when you're the empress. <laughs> they need to do that, all right? Okay, clarify the strength card. You deserve to be admired, adored. Four of Swords is coming out in strength. Okay. So, this is a foundation. you got to heal from something. It's going to require you to get vulnerable. Some sort of healing is needed here. Tower moment. Something is going to put you in a vulnerable position. Some sort of movement. Sorry if you hear the water turning on. Seven of Wands. Nine of Wands. There's challenges and obstacles that are definitely needing for you to have boundaries up. See? You can see the Queen of Swords there? 
She's not wanting to hold that dagger or the sword. I don't know why I keep calling it a dagger. You see the sword there? She has it pointed down. She's holding on to it like I will use the sword if I need to to communicate and express what I need to, but she doesn't want to. She knows she'll use it, but she doesn't want to. Clarify the Eight of Cups. I forgot to. I turned my camera so you guys can't see all the cards. I gotta remember to hold them up. <laughs> so the Eight of Cups is interesting because it got clarified by the Three of Cups. It's like when you walk away, you're going to be celebrating this. And she's surrounded by familiars and things like that. It's your justice. See? Your justice is to be treated as this emperor, empress. Your legacy is tied to this, Ten of Pentacles. But it's like you have to walk away. But it's like you're walking away in the Three of Cups. You don't realize how powerful this is, right? It's like, to me, I'm getting it's like a final test. See, there's three of swords and two of wands. There's movement away. You need to move away from pain, heartbreak, betrayal. If anybody put you in a betrayal, put you in a third party, caused pain and heartache, it's time to say your goodbye to those things. For a lot of you, your justice is here for past wrongdoings, I'm hearing. Clarify the high priestess. She's the keeper of secrets. You could be keeping this a secret. Six of Pentacles. Fairness is here. A new foundation is here. Ace of Pentacles. But look, two fives. Five of Cups. Five of Wands. Here's an ending. Five of Wands competition. Just off of the distance. Three of Wands. I told you. See, Ace of Cups popping out again. I told you. This love came in. There's somebody off of the distance that's going to love and adore you, that's going to cherish you, is going to love you right. I'm getting there's a lot of love here. That could be very strongly with this King Cups. Maybe you're not with this King Cups figure already, but he is just so close to you. Like, he's in your energy. Like, you can probably feel this person. They're that close to you. <laughs> Energetically. Hmm. All right. Uh, we'll start by the hermit. See, eight of swords. You feel trapped and stuck. That's why you need to go with him. So you can see how to end something here. How to transform it. Because there's a lot of things that you got to close out and express, I'm feeling, with the seven of cups. Yeah, a death card came right back out. See, the sun cards here. Blessings and abundance. <laughs> Sorry, things are starting to get a little foggy on me. I haven't went to sleep yet. I've been focused on getting everybody up and ready for the next day. And having to do laundry in the night hours. Like, I haven't went to sleep yet. Okay. Um, they're showing me five of cups with the wheel again. Hmm, <laughs> Faded life is here, so there's some sort of venting. That's needed. Actually, let me keep an eye on the time. Hold on. Oh, okay. I guess it's a good thing I'm finishing this up because I gotta go. Alright. Seven of Swords here. Yeah, any betrayal, lies, deceptions gonna be getting revealed. Well, let's clarify the. Well, let's get another clarifier for the Seven of Cups. Why not? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Ace of Swords, Clarity. You're going to be getting the realization. You're going to be getting the download, right, from Spirit, Source, Divine. Right? For some of you, this could be physical communication, too. There could be a higher level of commitment offered, too, with the, with the higher event. There could be an offer of a higher level of commitment of marriage or moving in together or making it official, starting to date. Um, some sort of communication I'm getting. All that out with the Seven of Cups, so that should help you narrow down your choices, right? And then let's clarify the Page of Cups for the last card, and then I'm going to go. I'll um, definitely <laughs> watch more readings later. <gasps> okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Clarify the Page of Cups. Ah, I 
can you keep that Ace of Cups in the deck? Look, this time it, this beautiful Ace of Cups came out with the lovers. Have you not seen it like three or more times? This, it, this is true love. This is a divine soulmate connection. Oh my gosh. It, it came out with the Six of Swords too. So there's some sort of movement required. She's got her chin up and her chest out in this card. So chin up, chest out. You deserve the best. Know that. Settle for nothing less. I, it's interesting. I was saying that in the goddess reading that I was doing too. That you shouldn't have to lower yourself or dim yourself or be treated as a divine, beautiful empress. Half the time, half the time not. If you are, you're dealing with somebody that just doesn't know how to treat you right. Mm. So anyway, <laughs> there's a beautiful new lover here it's your justice justice with judgment damn that's the divine baby <laughs> when those two come out together that's the divine calling judgment because there has been an injustice so now justice is here for you what so i feel like this is hitting your timeline either way you just got to close out all the things that aren't this it's not even like you got to work for this baby it's coming in for you because it's your justice all you want to do is just make some room close out and say no to these things that are not what it is you truly desire all right so yep bam closing it out there there's that empress again <laughs> All right, love and light to all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely like the video. It lets me know you like my content. It spreads it too, right? Helps others find it as it grabs the algorithms, especially if you comment below, um, leave emojis, things like that. Uh, if you want to donate to me um, through Cash App to help me get more decks and supplies, um, it's always appreciated, right? Everything that that um that you give comes back to you multiplied know that right all right love and light to all of you bye